Good morning. Um, today is the last Youth Sunday in 2017, and we want to do something really um, special that hits home with our youth because this is Youth Sunday. Um, we do have a special guest here today, Miss Carpenter, um, and she's the true, um, j just a true statement of getting a test and turning it into a testimony. And she has been just dedicated to the, all year to just empowering our youth. She's been going around traveling, speaking with gas money, without gas money, against bullying, against suicide, and we just want to thank her for being here today. And we do have on No Bullying shirts, and at the bottom it does say Mariah's voice. And if anybody in the Starville community, you know what happened with Mariah being bullied, and we just want to let you all know that her voice will always live through us. Good morning. Today is the last shoot Sunday, 2017. We, the youth of Peter's Rock, would like to shed a few issues on, shed light on a few issues that have been attacking our generation this year. We had lost many of our peers through gun violence, peer pressure, drugs, bullying, and so much more. As you look at the TV monitors, you will see a display of youth who have lost their lives this year, even, our, even in our own community right here in Star Mississippi. But today we are taking a stand, and we say no more. The enemy will not have our, all of our young people. We will stand bold on the word of God and declare that our generation will be saved. We will follow Jesus. We will stand for what's right. We will be the exception. We will be the example that God has called us to be. We will be obedient and help lead our generation to Christ in the name of Jesus. This next generation need you. God, you said that in the last days, you shall pour out your spirit upon all flesh. You said that the young people shall prophesy. And God, the young people need you like never before. For the enemy is on attack. So now, God, I pray against all type of gun violence. I pray against the shootings that's in our schools. I pray against suicidal thoughts. I pray against drugs. I pray against bullying. And I speak over the lives of the young people that they will not fall into the hands of temptations. The young people will get back in place with you. They will hunger for holiness. And the hunger will be so great that it will be unexplainable. In the name of Jesus, God, I declare right now that we, your young people, we will present ourselves as living sacrifices. Our lives are in your hands. We make the choice. We make the vow right now that God, we will not, we will not give in to peer pressure. We will not give in, God, to suicidal thoughts. We will not give in until what the enemy has to offer. We will not give in until the plans of the enemy. But God, we stand and we say we will be holy. We will keep our bodies pure. We will keep our bodies pure. We'll keep our minds is pure in the name of Jesus we will not give in to drugs we will not give in to drinking we will not give in to smoking but God we will stand for holiness we will stand for what's right so God we cry out purify us Lord purify us Lord sanctify us cleanse us God we want to be holy we want to be like you Lord we want to be like you, Lord, we cry out today. We give ourselves to you. Our lives are in your hand. Our lives are in your hand. Oh God, for we believe you're raising up some planet shakers. You're raising up some demon slayers. You're raising up some Satan defeaters. And God, we stand right now and we say we will be the one. We will be the one that will show the enemy that he is a liar. He will not have all the young people. He will not have our minds. We will be the one. We will be the example. We will be the chosen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Young people right there where you are, just lift up your hands and begin to tell God, God, I will be the one. He just want to know if 
he can have a willing vessel. He just want to know if he have a willing vessel that will stand up and declare to this nation, that will stand up and declare to this world that God.